Hi, it's Jane. Oh boy, we're in the Burr months now. So I'm sure pumpkin spice is going to be everywhere. And to be honest, I've never tried pumpkin spice in my coffee. It doesn't even sound like it would be good. So maybe I should try it once. Maybe. We'll see. All right. I did get the back of my sweater finished. I uh, did bind that off. And so the back is ready. Now to do the front sides. And I've already started on those. I've gotten to a point where I've gotten past the ribbing part on it. And um, now I'm just working on the front front sections. And yes, I do my front sections at the same time, same way I do the sleeves. I do the sleeves at the same time. Why? Because it's kind of like when I would knit socks. If I did one at a time, I was done with the first one. The second one never got made or that they were uneven, they weren't the same size. There's a whole lot of reasons why. But I just find it easier to work them both at the same time. So now if I do any socks, I knit those all at the same time. But yeah. I've continued working on the Ripple Romance blanket. And I've only gotten this far on it. I do have one, two, three, four, five. Oh. I've got three more rows that I need to do. No, four more rows that I need to do of this in between. But I'm not sure that I want to do a full four. Maybe I'll do six rows in between. And then I'll add in the next color. But in the meantime, I'm going to move this up. Izzy. This cat, she still buries her food. That just drives me nuts. And there are days that she is just OCD about it, is all I can say. She's constantly got to be in there burying it off and on all day long. But yeah, um, I've gotten that far. Not too bad. Got a long ways to go. Um, I'm rethinking about whether it'll be long enough for sleep in heavenly peace. But then again, you never know. It might get to that point, right? Um, I did find some more of the cakes of that comfy cotton that I needed for my um, shirt so I pulled out another one of those cakes because I've got three over there but I'm not sure if three is going to be enough so I've got another one setting aside just in case last time um, I went through most of the yarns there are some totes of yarn they're in the very corner of the garage I just cannot get to and I'm not they're not, it's not ever going to get gone through um, on the video series here. It might once I get moved in and start putting things away into a new place. Um, still looking. Still have not found anything that I'm real gun ho about. Um, like I said, the one place I did find that I like a lot. It has a couple of issues that need to be addressed. Um, and I don't know if I'm ready to do that. And I think I told you about my washing machine issue. I'm still waiting on one other contractor to come through with a estimate on the amount to fix that issue. Um, It's just crazy the things you go through. Things that happen. Just blows my mind. And it is Labor Day today, so I hope everybody is having a great day. 
Hope that you're enjoying your day. If you do spend it with family or do celebrate Labor Day. Here in our area, we have what is called the regatta. And it is a lot of boat races. And and they've got this little fair-like thing set up across the river. Um, It's been raining off and on. However, that didn't stop the races. Didn't stop the people going to the fair. And when I mean fair, they have rides, little shows, and of course there's vendors there selling things, and lots of food vendors, a lot of food. Um, but it can be rather um, noisy. Even where I'm at, which is further up the road from where the regatta is, many times I can hear those boats racing. In the evening, I can hear the music because they're blasting it so it does go fully across the river if you've ever been in that kind of a little valley sound really projects upward as well so uh, do get to hear that music usually it ends around 10 30 10 45 not bad but sometimes it can be rather hard to get to sleep listening to it because all you're hearing is the booming you know, like the bass sounds. And um, and it's almost to the loud level that you can feel it, you know. I, I've always talked about how many times when you go to different concerts, you can hear the bass in your with the vibrations through your heart. So, yeah, that's rather interesting. It's a little different sound than when my neighbors are over in their garage and they're playing. Sorry folks. Izzy is at the um, where the filter for the air conditioner and the heating system is and she is patting that vent. She is in a very OCD mood today. Yep gonna be one of those days. <laughs> what can I say? The cat's a little weird. Um, and I don't know what gets her in these. Lots of times if I pick her up, hold her, pet her, give her lots of love, she settles down. But today it just doesn't, doesn't seem like she's gonna do that. I don't know what's going on with her. Who knows? Now she's walking around doing her little trill, looking for somebody. Well, she's fixing to go get her toy and bring it in. This cat, I don't know what gets in her at times. But anyway, are you ready for a little what in tarnation? Got a couple of good ones today. Semi-crash covers Los Angeles Freeway in French fries. You wouldn't think that that'd be a problem, would you? South the Los Angeles Highway was backed up for miles during the morning commute after a crash semi-truck, covered the roadway in boxes of french fries. California Highway Patrol said the truck crashed about 3.20 a.m. on the southbound 5 freeway near Stadium Way. Want to bring your toy here? Well, no. She's going to go put it in a box and sleep with it. Spread dozens of boxes of fries across the roadway. Traffic was backed up for several miles during the morning commute while crews worked to clear the freeway of spuds. No injuries were reported. You know, I talked about pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice pundit sought to taste test fall treats at Trader Joe's. Financial advice was website seeking a pumpkin spice pundit to make $1,000 by taste testing and reviewing the autumn treats at Trader Joe's. Finance Buzz announced it is looking for someone to taste and evaluate all the fall-inspired pumpkin palooza foods at Trader Joe's. The chosen pumpkin spice pundit will be asked to review Trader Joe's products, including pumpkin waffles, cinnamon rolls, and more than 20 other pumpkin-flavored foods and beverages. 
The selected candidate for the side hustle will receive a $500 Trader Joe's gift card to pay for the treats as well as a $1,000 payment. Applications are being accepted through September the 6th, and I've left you a link if you'd like to apply. Red pepper spill on California Highway turns into the emergency. A red pepper spill on a California highway turned into a bee emergency situation after a signpost struck by the truck carrying the produce was found to contain a massive hive. Chip um, Patrol Santa Maria responded alongside the Santa Maria Fire Department when a semi truck pulling a flat bag, flatbed trailer overturned on Highway 101. Wednesday morning and spilled its load of red peppers across lanes of traffic. Crews working to remove the wreckage and clean up the crushed red peppers discovered a sign pole that had been struck and damaged by the truck contained thousands of bees whose hive was now exposed to the elements. Robert Diaz from Swarm Catchers was summoned to the scene and used a special vacuum to safely gather the bees for relocation. Talk about a sweet rescue, Chip wrote on social media. Thanks for making sure things didn't get too sticky out there, Robert. No injuries were reported from the crash or the ensuing bee rescue. And there are two links that are provided below. One is to the story and one is also, um, I think, to the Instagram. Is it Instagram? Maybe it's a video. All right, Florida's team's bat dog to keep her job, despite the messy debut. A minor league baseball team in Florida introduced its new bat dog to the public, but the canine ended up being less interested in game than she was in doing her business. Lucy May, a 10-month-old Labrador retriever, was introduced by Philadelphia Phillies single-A affiliate team, the Clearwater Thrushers, during their game against the Dunedin Blue Jays. But her debut had a few hiccups, as well as other bodily functions. Lucy, whose older sister Layla, retired as the team's back dog earlier this year, ran out of the Thrushers' dug hole. During the third inning, and instead of retrieving a drop bat, ran into the opposing team's dugout. Then the dog, the dog then seemed to get a case of the zoomies and made her way to the infield where she earned cheers from the crowd by pooping near the pitcher's mound. When she squatted, I definitely went into panic mode, owner Andrew Davis told WT, WTVT TV. I think my word, my fina, my, my fiance, and I used was mortified. Dominic Repper, the team's promotions and games entertaining manager, rushed into action to clean up Lucy's mess. Kind of had a feeling that something special would happen with her and that it would be a fun event, but I don't think we could have imagined that it would get taken to that level, Repper said. The canine's unusual debut, debut went viral on social media leading the team to respond. Even though she doesn't have it quite right, she's 1,000% keeping her job. Maybe Lucy was just nervous. You know, her first time out. Sad news for people in Ohio. Ohio regulators. Marijuana sellers can't give out food from an ice cream truck. Handing out food and drinks from an ice cream truck is off limits for marijuana businesses in Ohio, according to state regulators. So, here's an online promotion saying, Can you take me higher? Ohio's Division of Cannabis Con Control has proposed fines totaling 212000 
against five businesses for violating the state's advertising rules for marijuana sellers. The Akron Beacon Journal reported Thursday. Most of the fines involved promotions this summer ahead of the August 6th beginning of recreational marijuana sales in the state. Some of the violations involved using signs that were too large or not approved by the state. The largest proposed fine, $150,000, was issued to Greenleaf Apothecaries, which operates dispensaries in Akron, Canton, Cleveland, Columbus, and Wycliffe. State regulators said the violations were related to giving out food and beverages from an ice cream truck, advertising free ice cream on social media, and using a sign that was not attached to the dispensary. Greenleaf Apothecaries said in a statement that it takes the rules seriously and hopes to reach a resolution soon. What are you doing? Telling you, these cats are in a mood today. Now, this story I think is probably one of the funniest stories, and I hope you go watch the video. Child reported missing in Midwood, Brooklyn, found with the help of Chopper 2. Child who had been reported missing in Brooklyn Thursday has been found with the help of CBS New York's Chopper 2. The NYPD said a nine-year-old bull boy went missing around 7 a.m. after heading off to school from his Midwood apartment building. His parents called police after the boy didn't arrive at the school. Police provided a description of the child who was wearing a distinctive orange tie, a first for us. CBS News New York sent Chopper 2 to the area to check things out, and our own Dan Rice spotted a child fitting the description on the rooftop of the family's building. As my pilot Eric Ross and I were circling around the building, we came across a person sitting in a chair over here on the rooftop. We zoomed in with the camera and appeared to be a child that fit the description of the missing child. I looked down at my notes, I see what the assignment desk had sent me, and I see what the child is wearing. I look back at the child, and that child is wearing everything that's in this description. He looked to be about nine years old, Rice said. CBS New York called the NYPD, and Chopper 2 waited overhead until they arrived. Oh, it gets much better. He just packs up his computer and his book bag and goes off with the police officers. They looked back at our helicopter, gave us a big thumbs up, and took the child down to his parents, Rice said. A neighbor told CBS News New York Hannah Kleiger he'd been on the roof Thursday morning and saw the child, but didn't think anything of it until he heard what happened. I went up there with my wife to have a cup of coffee. It was about 8 o'clock. There's a swinging bench up there, sort of. The kid was sitting on the bench playing on his iPad, the neighbor said. Thought his parents gave him permission to go up there. Didn't even think. Why would that kid be up here? It's a community place. This is the first time we've seen something like this happen, Rice said. Neighbors said they're relieved to hear the child is okay. As is Rice. To be able to find that child for the parents down in that building was a really gratifying experience. That's not the last story. And Ronan, will you quit? A parent meteor spotted whistling over Watoga County. Video shows possible meteor streaking across the sky in Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. There is a lot of chatter Friday morning on social media about a bright ball of light streaking through the sky over the southeast. Now that earlier, earlier title I just told you, Watoga the County, is actually in North Carolina, but this is the same meteor. Some are saying it may have been a meteor. Chris Bonzagni of Traveler's Rest said his Nest camera caught the video above around 1.15 a.m. He lives near Tigerville Road. 
There are many reports of people seeing the streak of bright light in the Boone and Avery areas of North Carolina as well. And that is where that first link goes to. The second link goes to, I think, about four or five videos of it streaking past. Um, the Grandfather Mountain Stewardship Foundation sent in the video that is listed in that lower link. The foundation said the video was taken at 1.14 a.m. Shows the landscape completely lighting up in a couple of locations on the mountain. Um, Kip Middleton in Clyde, North Carolina, captured videos as well. He said the camera in these videos is facing Asheville. Christina Ziegler's camera caught the video below from Taylor's near Lake Robinson. And that is a lot of videos. Um, around just that one meteor. So, um, yeah, rather amazing. All right, let's get into the devotional, God's Promises from the Heart. Today's come from Promises from God's Heart for Your Protection. You are being protected by God's power through faith for a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. 1 Peter 1, 5 God will command his angels to, to protect you wherever you go. Psalm 91, 11 A man is a fool to trust himself, but those who use God's wisdom are safe. Proverbs 35 Hide your loved ones in the shelter of your presence, safe beneath your hand safe from all conspiring men. Blessed is the Lord, for he has shown me that his never-failing love protects me like the walls of a fort. Psalm 31, 20-21 He will cover you with his feathers. You will take refuge under his wings. His faithfulness will be a protective shield. Psalm 91, 4 now to him who is able to protect you from stumbling, to make you stand in the presence of his glory, blameless and with great joy, to the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time, now and forever. Jude 24 For the Lord loves justice and will not abandon his faithful ones. They are kept safe forever. Psalm 37, 28 A man is a fool to trust himself, but those who use God's wisdom are safe. Proverbs 28, verse 26 And that is it for today's video. As always, remember, be a little kinder to yourself and to others. And for heaven's sake, don't let the elephants and donkeys drive a wedge between us. We're all here. We're all God's children, regardless. All right. See you guys soon. Bye.